I'm going to be honest with y'all. Trying to figure out what team I should have as the next rebuild is probably the hardest thing ever. (laughs) So I decided to create what you're seeing now on your screen. First and foremost, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you like, share, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so you know your next video drop. Um, The title probably has the team that we're using, but I wanted to show you guys the process that I go and use um, when it comes to me picking teams. So as you guys can see, (laughs) we're about to do our next rebuild. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams on this wheel right here. Um, and as you can see, we got, you know, relatively bad teams. I wanted to put relatively bad teams, not teams that are kind of, you know, kind of good. They have a core and then it's like, eh, you can do what you can do with those teams. So I didn't pick teams like, you know what I'm saying, the Timberwolves or the Clippers or the, the Celtics. I, I didn't pick teams like that. I picked teams that are significantly bad, but at the same time, it's like they have room to grow. I also put in there, if you can see that little blue thing right there on the left hand side, I think where the wheel is spinning or whatever, um, expansion team. Now, if I put an expansion team, it's going to take a little bit more work. And I don't necessarily know if um, I really want to do an expansion team because like I do with all of these leagues, I try to go and win a championship in one year. Um, And if we don't win a championship in one year, we scrap the whole thing and we go to another team. So I wanted to do a different little, you know what I'm saying? Different little idea with this. We're going to do a gauntlet. So any team that this wheel falls on, they're out. The last team standing, that's who we picking. So let's get into it. We're going to get right into... Oh my God, here we go. Spinning it. Let's see what we're going to get. Ah, ah, That's wild. So the Bulls... Oh my God. So the Bulls are gone. So the team that I'm really hoping for, I'm going to be honest with y'all, is... I'm hoping for the Hornets. That's the team that I'm hoping for. So, you know, it's not the Hornets, the Kings. Ah, here we go again. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, the Pistons. The Pistons are gone. That's cool. That's cool. We not tripping. We not, we not tripping. We not tripping. So the Pistons are gone. All right, let's keep it moving. Uh, oh, well, that's great. That means I don't have to do an expansion team. So that's great. So the expansion teams are gone, which is cool. I'm not tripping. All right. So we down to the final five. And that's the Spurs, the Knicks, the Kings, the Cavs, the Hornets. Oh, my God. I feel like as far as views is concerned, the Hornets will pull the most views because everybody wants to see LaMelo. So, we just going to pray, you know what I'm saying, that the Hornets are the team that we pick. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, God. Wow. No, we're doing another one. Oh, my God. The Hornets. Uh, well, the Hornets are gone. I jinxed it, y'all. I apologize. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. And the Cavs are gone. Damn. Well, we down to our final three. The Kings, the Spurs, and the Knicks. Kings, the Spurs, and the Knicks. Eh, I feel like I'm going to have more fun doing the Knicks. Playing the game. You know what I'm saying? But, golly. Oh, my God. Let's keep it moving. We picking. Oh, okay, so the Knicks are. So is it like every time that I say something, like it ends up doing the opposite? God. So we down to the Spurs and the Kings. The final two. Let's see who we going with. Oh my God. So it's the Kings. So 
as the title says, we are rebuilding the Sacramento Kings. We'll turn up then. So we're going to switch it over to 2K. Y'all know how we do the setup, man. So we got to do the normal setup of everything. All right, so we are here. So just a quick little overview. This is what the team is looking like, all right? De'Aaron Fox, high sign, white side. We got Buddy Hugh, Marvin Bagley, Sean Holmes, Harrison Barnes. Oh my God, Violita, Jabari Parker, Frank Kaminsky, Glenn Robinson. Yo, uh, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This team look all over the freaking place. All over the freaking place. And so it's gonna be hard to make this a championship team, but I feel like we can do it. Um, like I do in any league and like we did in our OKC league, Side note, if you haven't watched that league, please go and watch that. All right, so here is the roster that we're looking at so far. We got De'Aaron Fox, Hassan Whiteside, Marvin Bagley, Buddy Hill. And then after that, I don't really necessarily know what's going on with this team. Uh, we got the rookie, Tyrese Halliburton. Tyrese is definitely going to stay. Um, we're going to keep you around. But everybody else, I don't. <laughs> I don't know what the direction is of this team. I honestly do not know. Um, we're gonna do some little housekeeping stuff before we get into our first little sim. So if you're new to any of the series that I do here on our channel, um, first and foremost, welcome. Hey, nice to meet you. The name is Young from It's Young Gaming. Shout out to you for watching and keeping up with the channel, yeah. Um, but secondly, what I like to do is we try to get a championship the first year. And I know you're thinking like, what? That's crazy, but it can be done. It can be done. Just a little bit of a tweak here and a tweak there. You know what I'm saying? And it can be done. So we're trying to get a championship in the first season. And in order to do that, one, we have to sim. We're going to sim the first year just to see what draft pick we get, see how everybody else pans out. And then that's how we can best build the team. But I'm going to be honest with y'all with this team. Whew. It's, it's a lot of work to be done. It's a lot of work to be done. Um, first and foremost, we're going to make Marvin Bagley a power forward. I feel like that's his natural position. He's not a center. I don't know why he is listed as a center. Um, as far as the people that are untouchables, you know, we got to do our untouchables. All right, so we're going to get into our untouchables. Obviously, De'Aaron Fox is untouchable. Marvin Bagley is untouchable. Um... I, and this is just me saying this, Tyrese Halliburton is untouchable. Uh, and, uh, after that, I, I just don't know. I could say Jabari because he's 25. So Jabari meets that deadline of, of years. You know what I'm saying? So Jabari's 25. We can keep Jabari. So I'm definitely going to keep Jabari. Um... Everybody else is expendable. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Everybody else is expendable. Rashawn Holmes is a great center, so I want to keep him. Um, but I don't necessarily want to say he's untouchable. Um, we got a lot of big contracts on here that doesn't make sense to me. Like Harrison Barnes is still on his team. Harrison Barnes doesn't really do much. Um, as far as points per game, he's been you know, digressing every year. Um, and he's at 14 points a game. I don't necessarily see him getting higher than 14 points a game, so he needs to be moved. Um, and as far as Hassan Whiteside, Hassan is going to get you boards and rebounds, so he's going to be expendable. Um, his last year with Portland, he averaged 15 points, 13 boards, and almost three blocks a game, which is crazy when you think about it. Um, but at the same time, I feel like we can get a better center. Um, as far as the team's needs is concerned, I don't necessarily know what the team needs. The team needs everything, baby. <laughs> as far as point guards, we're good. Tyrese Halliburton and De'Aaron Fox is the future. So we're going to keep Kyle Guy. Kyle Guy is really good. Shout out to Kyle Guy for hitting that game winner um, in the preseason. That was pretty tough. But Kyle Guy is going to stay. So our point guards are solidified. We're good. As far as shooting guards is concerned, Buddy Hill got to go. And I'm going to find a trade package where I can get rid of Buddy Hill and Harrison Barnes at the same time. But they got to go. They don't meet the deadline. They don't beat 
the deadline they don't meet the timeline that i want to use um because they're both older and i just don't see i don't see them in the future of this organization so i'm gonna try to get a pick or something for a buddy healed and harrison barnes as far as the backups these are all like bad contracts uh glenn robson he can step i want to keep justin james simply because justin james is six seven and he's coming off a really good i guess rookie year um he's in his second year but at the same time he's a he's a pretty good he's a pretty good player um being six seven he has a lot of switchability i think he needs to improve on his defense when it comes to perimeter but i'm not really gonna just shop the whole squad like i normally do um and i'm gonna possibly keep robert woodard i don't necessarily know but glenn robson and harrison barnes they're probably going anyway as far as the power forward is concerned same deal uh violita is on his last year of the contract so i'm probably gonna let him walk jabari parker is coming back so we're pretty good on power fours i'm gonna keep jabari simply because jabari is younger and when you have younger players on a my league um or my nba sorry folks um when you have younger players on a my nba they tend to do well on the next year so it just depends on how we do um coming into the next year so these two guys are staying by lisa you can dip as far as the center goes i don't necessarily know what i want to do as far as hassan whiteside is concerned when it comes to simming i think uh hassan is going to be perfect for us so i might keep him uh but at the same time he's going to be 32 next year so i don't want to give him no big contract because when it comes to 2k people that are stat sheet stuffers on the game as far as like sims are concerned they usually require a lot of money i want to keep rashawn holmes um i always like rashawn holmes i'm gonna be honest with y'all rashawn holmes is just an energy guy and, and seeing him in real life play like yo he's he's that dude i, I just love seeing rashawn holmes play um, i just love his energy his tenacity like what he brings to the game um i'm gonna keep rashawn i want to work on him developing somewhat of a shot because as far as rebounding and protecting the rim like i can i can leave it up to him frank kaminsky actually in real life was released to free agency so i'm gonna do that um just so i can keep it a little bit realistic um but as far as the centers is concerned uh metu i don't know what you do so i'm gonna just leave you like that all right so the first person that we're gonna try to see what we can get for is buddy hill um i don't necessarily see buddy hill being in the future of this team and i want to see what we can get i might keep buddy on the team just for the sim and see how well he performs and then when the draft comes around maybe we can you know what i'm saying flip him for something so i don't necessarily see anybody worth anything terrence ross is up there rj hampton would be a good move i guess in a, in a, in a perfect world so yeah we don't necessarily see anybody that's uh, that's gonna be helpful so let's go and put up Harrison Barnes and see what Harrison Barnes is looking like. I don't really see him having a lot of worth because like I said, he's 28, about to be 29. He's not really averaging a lot of points and he's not really doing much of anything. He can't really play defense. So I don't really see a lot of people asking for him. Mm, Casey Apala, he might be a good little move. He had a pretty good preseason as well. James Ennis, Josh Green. But like I said, I want to get a pick. So nobody's offering any picks for these guys. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sim. I'm going to sim to the end of the season. And we're going to see where the team falls and how the team operates. So let, let's do our first little sim. We're going to sim to the All-Star break just to get a feel of everything. Now, as far as draft picks go, we need everything. <laughs> we need everything. So it just depends on who is available. Any and every one of these players on this list, we could use. Probably except power forwards, but we could need a center as well. So we need everything. And point guards, we don't really need point guards, but we need everything. 
So, no, you're not going to see a Cade Cunningham. No, you're not going to see Jalen Green because we drafted Jalen Green in the OKC League. If you haven't watched that, go watch that. Um, but so, yeah, you're not going to see Jalen Green. You're not going to see Cade Cunningham. So, I'm sorry. So, that's who you guys were looking for. No, we're not going to do those guys. Um, but there are other guys that we could potentially go after, like Zaire Williamson, Jonathan Kaminga. Like, there are other guys that we can actually go after. So, I'm looking into broadening out who we look for, but to be honest with y'all, it all depends on who is available. So our first trade is actually a pretty good trade. Um, they're offering us Montrez Harrell and Quinn Cook for Hassan Whiteside. This Montrez pick might be pretty good simply because of the fact that Montrez is 26. But at the same time, Hassan's value will probably go up if we sim. But this is a really good move. And he's on a really, 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 really cheap contract. So I, I'm going to hold off on this simply because I don't want Hassan to actually have a good year. They re-signed him and then he goes crazy and then we meet him in the Western Conference Finals or something like that. And then we can't play. Um, I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to leave it like this. If we aren't really that good, I'm going to try to see what we can do around All-Star break. And then we'll, we'll go from there. So I'm going to leave this right here. I'm going to leave this right here. Matisse, Matisse fits the, the timeline. So Matisse is 23. He's a great defender. Great defender. Um, he's more of a... I can't really describe it, but he's more of a 3 and D type guy. He's 6'5". He can guard one through three, maybe fours, depending on who they are. Um, and he just plays defense. I feel like he would be really good for us. But at the same time, if we lose Hassan, we're going to lose a little bit more games. Uh, which might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. I don't want to get it too high of a pick. Um, because then it's going to be like, yo, we just passed on K. Cunningham with the first overall pick. Um, so I'm probably going to... Ah, I want to make this move, but I don't want us to be too good. Because I feel like if I draft, if I get him, I'm going to put him at the small forward. But we're going to leave it alone. I'm not even going to do it. We're going to decline this trade. And we're going to keep the sim going. All right, so we're at the contract extension deadline. I'm going to stop simulating. Hopefully, somebody decides that they want to be on the team. So, this is crazy. Marvin Bagley said he don't want to be here no more. I'm confused. Where is this coming from? Wow. And it says he wants to test free agency. That really throws a wrench into everything. He said he want to leave. Well, you can't because you're going to be a restricted free agent. So, 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 so get over it. Everybody else is ineligible for a contract extension. I was trying to get Hassan Whiteside to uh, sign an extension, but um, eh, it won't let me do the extension. He's expected to make $19 million, which we're not going to give him. So I probably should have made that uh, Montrez Harrell trade. So I don't know. All right, so we're at the All-Star break. We're 23 and 28, which is not really that bad. I wouldn't really say it's that bad. Ah, 23 and 28. So currently, I don't think we're in playoff contention. Yeah, we're not in playoff contention. We're currently the 11th seed, and it looks like that the Lakers aren't really doing that much either. They're the fourth seed, so maybe if we made that trade for Montrez Harrell, that maybe it probably would have did something. I don't know. Their lineup has Alex Caruso at their starting shooting guard. We're going to sim. Uh, like I said, we're the 11th seed, so I don't really see us really making any type of big moves or whatever, so let's just keep it moving. Yaka Pirtle. Hmm. Yaka Purtle would definitely be a good move simply because he's young, like I said. Um, he's a pretty solid center. Now, as far as what he can do, 
that's the hard part because he's more of a old school center he has a midi he can't shoot threes i don't really know man i don't really know all right we're at the trade deadline we're gonna make some more offers i'm gonna make some more offers i want to see if i can get a pick we're gonna see what we can get for hassan whiteside all right so let's look around the league see what we can get for hassan whiteside so far, I don't really see anything. The Yaka Pirtle trade is still up there. Alex Land would be pretty cool. Victor, we can get Victor Oladipo. We can get Victor Oladipo. But Victor's gonna be expecting some bread next year. Oh my God, yeah. See, I would because it, it, it seems like Indiana has given up on Victor uh, because of his injuries. He's coming back from injury. I don't really know. Let's see if we can get that same trade for Montrez Harrell. Now, we're going to partner up Kyle Guy. I wanted to keep Kyle Guy, but let's see what we can get for him. Clint Capella. Hmm. No. And our pick? No. Nah. Mitchell Robinson. Shout out to Mitchell Robinson. He was in the OKC League, so no, we're not going to use Mitchell Robinson. All right, so we're going to do this trade with the Orlando Magic to get by Lita for a pick. Um, we're going to get a 2021 20, first round pick for this. We're going to do like a salary dump, I guess, and get Kalan Martin. Um, I'm just making this move because it looks like we're not going to really make the playoffs. Um, and so I'm going to trade by Lita so we can get another pick. The Memphis Grizzlies are going to give us a pick for Corey Joseph. So we're going to pick him up as well. We're just giving him the 2025 pick. So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this looks like a pretty good move. We're going to let him go. Peace out. I'm trying to get a lot of assets for the players that we got. Um, let's go and see if we can make that Montrez Harrell move again. So, yeah, they'll do the... Wow, they'll do the trade straight up. And they're giving us a pick. They're giving us a pick for that as well. So we could probably flip this first round pick into another pick for next year's draft. I think I'm going to go with this move. He's about four years younger than Hassan. So that's a pretty good thing. So he fits the timeline. The only thing is that Montrez. Ah, I know. If Evan Mobley is available, it's like I pick up Evan Mobley, but I don't know. We're going to make this move for Trez. If y'all wondering why we couldn't make a move for Harrison Barnes, it's because Harrison Barnes is hurt. And he can't trade players that are hurt. So we're going to hold on to Harrison Barnes um, probably until the draft. Same thing with Buddy Hill. I couldn't make a move for Buddy Hill because they're both hurt. So we're going to hold on to them until the draft, and then we're just going to go from there. So let's send the rest of the regular season, um, and then we're going to see what we're looking like during the draft. So let's go. Do I even have to go through all this? Like, we always know when it comes to the Sims that Luka always gets MVP. Uh, Anthony Edwards gets Rookie of the Year. 19 points, 5 rebounds, 1 assist. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Obi Toppin gets Sixth Man of the Year with 18. Mm. Kawhi Leonard gets Defensive Player of the Year, so it didn't go to Giannis. That's, that's a first in the Sim. Uh, Brandon Clark gets most improved with 14 points a game. Doc Rivers gets coach of the year. And I don't really, yeah, whatever. We don't care about none of this because none of our players are on here. Whoa, LaMelo Ball. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So our boy didn't get, oh, okay. Tyrese Halliburton got second team all rookie. Shout out to you. Let's see who going to win the playoffs. I'm predicting the Suns. And no, we lost. Wow, so Luca goes, gets MVP, and he gets a ring. In his third year, he averaged 40, 12, and 11. What type of God numbers? Jesus! Lord God. So you mean to tell me, in his third year, he's a champion, an MVP. He's already been a two-time All-Star. What? And he averaged 40? 40? Lord. He averaged 35, 10, and 9, bro. What is that?
All right, we're going to stop it here. Let's see who's all retiring really quick. Paul Gasol is retiring. Andre Iguodala, Cal Corbin, and age. We don't really care about that. Um, we're going to send to the league meetings. I'm going to just do this really quick so we can get on the bottom here. Uh, no contracts for real. Um, blah, 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 blah. We're in the next episode going to talk about the draft lottery and see what's going to happen in the draft lottery. Hopefully, we got a pretty high pick, man. Uh, I don't really necessarily know what's going to happen, but hopefully we got a pretty high pick, man, and we can we can do what we got to do. I'm going to holler at y'all later, man. Shout out to y'all for keeping up with the whole series, man. We started a new series, Rebuilding the Sacramento Kings, man. Shout out to y'all for keeping up with the channel, man. I appreciate all the love. Peace and love. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Let's do it.